Good evening. It's time for uh, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change and the courage to change the things I can't and the wisdom to know the difference. My uh, serenity prayer devotional. So anyway, my prayer devotional takes me tonight to Proverbs chapter 4 verses 1 through 23. And it's talking about a father's wise advice. Many of us grew up in a dysfunctional family. I'm sure a lot of us grew up in a dysfunctional family. I can relate to that. <laughs> Our parents scarcely seem to care about us. They scarcely seem to care about us at all. I mean, sometimes you didn't think they were that they even cared at all, correct? And uh, let alone provide wise guidance for us. This deprivation can leave us wondering how can how can we fill the void in our life? I mean, do you feel that sometimes, you know, because you, you grew up in a, you know, where your mother and father weren't around and you didn't feel like they were paying much attention to you and, and you just feel like, oh, woe is me, you know, uh, and you just feel empty, correct? Some people grew up in a family where they received wise advice and where wisdom was modeled and taught by their parents. Well, good for them. <laughs> but if we have it, we may feel like the rest of the human race has passed us by. Do you feel that way sometimes? Some of us feel anger, resentment, and shame because we had little guidance and never learned how to make wise choices. We may ask ourselves, Shouldn't someone have shown me the way? Sometimes you have you asked yourself that some somebody should have shown me the way. Ideally, all of us should have had wise and godly instruction. The book of Proverbs records a father's godly instruction to his son. For I too was once my father's son, tenderly loved by my mother. My father told me, "Take my words to heart." Learn to be wise and develop good judgment. Don't forget or turn away from my words. Don't turn your back on wisdom. For, the, for she will protect you, love her, and she will guard you. And that's in Proverbs chapter 4, verses 3 and to 6. For those of us who were neglected and given little or no guidance by our parents, it's not too late. It's not too late. We have a Father in Heaven who is eager to give us the wisdom we need. Amen to that. So James advised, this is in the book of James, if you need wisdom, if you want to know what God wants you to do, ask Him. Oh, wow. And He will gladly tell you. Yes, he will. If you ask God to give you wisdom, he will give it to you. And that's in the book of James, chapter 1, verses 5. He'll give you something to smile about every single day. I guarantee it. Our Heavenly Father loves us tenderly, as a parent should. He is always there for us, waiting to give us the wisdom we need whenever we ask for it. Yes, he does. So get into your the book of Proverbs this uh, this week uh, because, you know, we're all influenced by our environment, correct? I mean, we are. I mean, we become like our friends. If we hang out with whoever our friends are, that's how we become. If we hang out with friends and do this or that, that's why we are warned here, here to stay away from those who do things that aren't right. You know, you should be hanging out with people that, you know, can give you good things. Good. It is easy to become desensitized uh, to doing the wrong thing, to sinning, you know, to, you know. If we spend too much time with people who have few moral boundaries, we will begin to think and act as they do. Oh, wow. That's how I, yeah, I know, I did that. Slipping back into our, into our, bad ways and, you know, if you decide you want to change your life and, you know, and then all of a sudden, you know, you, you start hanging out with those people again or doing, 
you know, you're going to end up wanting to do what they, you know, what you used to do and you, you know, so, so slipping back into that will be a very natural thing. However, by spending time with godly people, you know, other people that, you know, that want to do what God's telling them to do, then you'll be influenced by that. <clears throat> we will find the encouragement we need to continue in our life that where we want to improve and, you know, be more joyful, more loving, more giving, more caring, then those are the kind of people we want to be around. So we can spread more of God's joy. Because God can use you to spread more joy. And and when we do this, we'll enjoy life, the, the kind of life that God intended for us. So let's all try to do that. Try to be those people that other people want to be around so that they can get influenced by our joy. So God bless you tonight. And remember, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change and the courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. Amen. God bless you.